In the late afternoon of the 6th of February, 1951, a terrible railroad accident occurred. The town of Woodbridge in New Jersey in the United States witnessed the worst train wreck in the state's history. At approximately 5 p.m., train number 733, operated by the Pennsylvania Railroad, left Exchange Place in Jersey City en route to Bayhead via the North Jersey coastline. An unusually high load of passengers was on the train due to strike action on the neighbouring Jersey Central Railroad. The train, an 11-carriage set hauled by PRR K4462, Locomotive 2445, running under steam, was carrying over a thousand passengers that day. The train was nicknamed the Broker, due to its servicing mainly Wall Street commuters. At that time, a new bridge was being built near Legion Place, so trains were being diverted onto a temporarily constructed wooden bridge, accessed by a curve in the track. Due to this temporary bridge being in place, speed restrictions were imposed on all trains traversing this route down from 60 miles per hour to just 25 miles per hour. This was done to ensure the safe running of trains over this section. A Joseph Fitzsimmons was responsible for driving the train that day and was duly reminded by his conductor of the speed restrictions in operation on the line. As the train approached the temporary bridge, it did not slow, and, being concerned about the train's excessive speed, the conductor tried to apply the emergency brakes by pulling on the emergency cord in the carriage in which he was situated. However, due to the unusually high level of overcrowding, could not reach the cord due to the crush of passengers. The train hurtled towards the sharp bend immediately prior to the bridge, and, due to the massive weight of the engine, the track moved and the train consequently derailed. Eight of the eleven carriages left the track, the leading two carriages falling onto their side. The next two smashed into each other as they careened down the 26-foot slope of the steep embankment, and the fifth and sixth carriages were left hanging in mid-air above the roadway below. The majority of the 85 deaths that occurred were those passengers in the second and third carriages, but it was suggested that some passengers from the fifth and the sixth carriages jumped to their death, thinking that the wet roadway was a river which would break their fall. The damage was so great that steel carriages were split open like tin cans by the forces involved whilst other carriages were completely crushed. In fact, so badly, it necessitated welders to cut them open to free passengers trapped inside. Upon investigation, it was found that excessive speed was the cause of the accident. This particular locomotive, however, was not fitted with a speedometer. Although Fitzsimmons claimed that he had been travelling at only 25 miles per hour, the inquiry estimated the speed was between 50 and 60 miles per hour. The report concluded that the accident was caused by intense speed on a curve of a temporary track. Fitzsimmons continued working for the railroad, but never operated a train again. Well, we hope you found this video interesting. Please like, share and subscribe.